Hello and welcome to why does purple hair dye just not work in my hair? Um, so basically what I'm going to do today is introduce you to these characters and give you a bit of a house tour because this is sort of where the idea of me having a YouTube channel more or less took form properly because one evening during quarantine I sat there thinking it would be so much fun to have a sims gameplay with my friends so i made myself and my friends in the sims and yeah figured i'd just make a let's play out of it so this is meta um she wants to be a friend of the world she's ambitious creative and good and she studies psychology at brightchester because all of us are studying and we all live together in one house and it's going to be a hell of a time to, you know, get seven sims through university and take care of one dog. So, anyway, this is Madam. She likes green. Um, and I always think that, you know, the men's top fit women really weirdly, or like the, the masculine tops. Like, look at how odd it just fits. The same with this one. It just has like an odd fit because it's, um, like a masculine top, but anyway. So, that is Meta, um, the psychology student. This is myself, Sim, though my hair is not that color, but Sims doesn't have a very, you know, good selection of blonde hair, which doesn't look awkward. <laughs> so, yes. This is Pia. She wants to be a Renaissance sim. She is creative, a bookworm, and childish, and she's studying language and literature at Brightchester. And, um, yeah, that's basically her. Or me? I don't know. This is going to be very weird. Anyway, this is Josephine. Josephine is a nerd brain, so she wants to be book smart and handy. She is ambitious, cheerful and good, and she studies economics at Foxbury. And she likes grey. So I try to give my friends, or all of us, kind of um, outfits we either actually own, or stuff that is very similar, or stuff I think we'd all enjoy. So, you know, it was fun to make us. This is Jana. Jana wants to be a witch, basically, so her ambition is spellcraft and sorcery. She's a geek, she's cheerful, and she's a bro, which she was very delighted upon finding out. Um, she studies communication at ah. Foxbury. This is Hannah. Hannah. Hannah's aspiration is the academic knowledge, so... Um, I'm not quite sure what that entails. I have played it, but I forgot. <laughs> so basically she just wants to be good at uni, which is fine, because in real life, out of all of the bunch of these, she's the one who's doing a PhD. So I figured it would work. Um, so she's a bookworm, she's a cat lover, and she's a perfectionist, and she studies history at Brightchester. This is Leah. Leah is... Well, she wants to be a friend of the animals. She's good, she loves the outdoors, and she's a duck lover. And she is studying economics at Brightchester. So while Josephine is doing her economics degree at Foxbury, she's doing it at Brightchester because one of them got into the distinguished degree. I think Josephine got into the distinguished degree and Leah didn't. And to this day, I still don't know the difference between, or like, if it does anything, if it makes the course harder, or... I really don't know. I really don't know. Anyway, this is Jules. Jules also wants to be a friend of the world. She's ambitious, good, and a bookworm. She also like, likes grey and green. Um, and she studies computer science at Foxbury. And then we have our dog, who in real life is sort of like the foster dog of Lea. So she takes care of him because he lives um, at the shelter. So she takes him for walks and we're hoping he will find a forever home. As much as I kind of like detest that sentence or like expression. But you know, it's fine. 
It is a forever home and we're hoping for it. Anyway, Ron is stubborn, a glutton and a troublemaker. He likes knocking over the trash and he's very keen on drinking out of the toilet. Um, yeah. So this is the people we will be playing with. And I am going to give you a house tour now. Hopefully. Okay, so loaded up the house I built um, I usually had it set or not usually I first had it set as a university dorm but then I figured out first of all we can't have a stove and it's just so annoying to play without a stove and considering I have seven sims and a dog I didn't really want to bother with it being even more annoying um, also this way they can go to Brightchester and Foxbury so yes this is the house and if I can manage to figure this thing out we're just gonna go inside and have a bit of a look I don't know why I'm so far away see everything about this mode confuses me yes let's just I don't understand why it is so tricky to me like, I seriously don't. I just don't get it. Like, why is it so hard? It shouldn't be so hard. Anyway. Here we are. Front door. It was a little bit inspired by the, like, shared dorm I lived in. Um, when I lived abroad. So. The front door. And as you can see on the side, it is um, connected to the other side of the house through this door and through there is the kitchen through there is the living room this is just like a bit of a hallway um, a bit of a you know landing more or less um, so let's take a look into the living room first which is just you know a basic standard living room it has a TV it has a sofa it has a bunch of stuff yeah, so it's not really all that exciting. Um, I kind of wanted to go for a like old-ish vibe. So something comfortable, but also not really modern. And also a bit cluttered. Thought it would be, you know, appropriate to have it be cluttered with like seven people living in there. So I'm going to take you through to the other room now. Um, where Jules is currently just standing around. So this is basically just like a study room kind of thing. Um, there's a bookcase there, just a reading nook, a couple of posters, strings of light, just because it's, it's fun and I wanted to make it fun. And yeah, let us go through to the um, I forgot the word for it. The dining room. That was the word for it. It's a dining room slash hall. Sort of. Here we go. Um, I don't know what Matt is doing. Apparently eating, I suppose. But this is the dining room. It has a bar area because it felt like having a bar area. And it's just a basic and fairly bare room. But it is connected not only to the outside, but also to the kitchen. So if I can manage to get into the kitchen, well, the outside is not very um, fun, to be honest. But this is the kitchen. There's like a lot of people in here. I don't even know why. They're just standing around. Anyway, yes. So this is the kitchen. It does have a stove. Wow. It does have a stove. It also has a laundry. Um, so that's going to be fun. And let me take you through to the upstairs, if I can figure out how properly. Oh, hello, Ron. See, he's there at the front door, probably, you know, needing to pee. Can't begrudge him. He's a dog after all. 
and he hasn't learned it yet. So, let's take you upstairs, hopefully. If I can manage to go upstairs. Here we, why are we in the bathroom? Seriously? <laughs> I just... Me and this camera, Murray, we're not going to be friends. I can tell you as much. So, I've tried it. I'm not going to try it again. This camera mode and I, we're just... No, no. So we're just going to do it this way. So this is the landing. You, um... Like through the hallway, you get get up here, and then we have a couple of rooms. So a couple of um, just like random rooms, bathrooms, as well as people's rooms, bedrooms. <laughs> that was the word I was looking for. Um, so this is Hannah's room. She has a vanity. Everything's kind of pink. She's got her lesbian flag. That's very important. She has. Uh, a lot of like cat stuff so these things are supposed to represent her in real life kittens well George is not a kitten anymore but Huxley's a kitten um, so she just has a lot of a lot of cat stuff and in true sims fashion a plate because what would the sims be without random plates everywhere uh, so that is her room it's very cluttered and I don't know I like her room it's fun. It was fun to decorate. Mm. So if we go on one room further, this is just sort of a yeah cozy reading nook, I suppose, just to hang out and chat and have like one-on-one -on -one talks or you know just kind of have a time out with a good book. And after that, we have Josephine's room. So she has a keyboard because she also place the piano but there was no way I was going to fit in a whole piano into this room um, she also has boats to kind of celebrate her heritage she just comes from like a city where there's a big you know harbor um, yeah <laughs> so that's why I wanted to give her boats which is fun because Leah is also from the same place in real life um, so this is the the bathroom but it's just a toilet so you only have the toilets. Oh no, sorry. You only have the toilet. Nothing big, you know. Nothing exciting. Um, you have Yana's room, which has a dog bed, which I suppose is too small for Ron, but that's fine. So she just has a couple of, you know, fun things. Possessed. Um, a possessed gnome. Because we like BuzzFeed Unsolved. That's why, basically. And a baby Yoda. And yeah, just a couple of things, a couple of flowers. And every every room, here, yeah, get your words straight. Every room has um, a basic set of furniture. So every room has this set of drawers, this bedside table, this bed, this chair, this desk and a laptop. So this is Meadow's room now. Uh, she has an easel because she likes to paint. And she just has a couple of flowers and a lot of green. Um, and a wonderful painting because it reminded me of a painting she did in real life. So that's why it's there. I really need to like, figure out this weird thing where I'm talking about my friends as if they weren't my friends but also I can't really talk about my friends as if they were my friends when they are sims so that's odd um yes this is the bathroom slash shower room so we have these showers which came with a university because you don't get embarrassed when you use them and people walk in so that's quite handy and I also gave them um kind of curtains so they could draw the curtains and then realize they clipped through. Also, this wall isn't painted. What was happening here? Why isn't the wall painted? Let me get out the wall paint. Here we go. Thanks. Yes, everything else is painted. Well, fair enough. Um, 
yeah, and it just has two toilets. That's it. And yeah, those are the rooms on this floor. So if we have a look at it from basically the front, these are the rooms. Meta, Yana, Josephine and Hannah. And we can go upstairs and have a look at Leah's room, which has the pet bed, the big one for Ron and uh, a lot of dog stuff. So that's fun. I also think I should turn on all lights. Auto light. No, not all lights. Turn. Pricey. Turn on all lights. There we go. So we can actually see properly. Nice, Pia. Well done. Um, yeah, so her room is kind of pastel y. I don't know why. I just figured it, you know, fit her. Um, oh, yeah. Also, every room has not only character specific stuff, but also. Um, like scratches on the wall and everything because I wanted the house to have a bit of an old feeling. Also, everyone has the same curtains. Forgot to mention that. So, yep. That's her in her sleeping clothes. Hello, Leia. And we have next to it another little toilet with two toilets and some blinds so people wouldn't look in. And this is just like a cozy like fire room. Um, I like how it looks like it's a footrest, even though it's another chair. Yeah, this is just... I felt like it needed a fire room or a fly fireplace room. I don't know why. I just wanted it. So it's there. It has a couple of um, thingamajigs, bookcases. Yeah. There's the landing again. Uh, so we've been to this room, this room and this room. So these have the wrong doors. They should have these doors. I will change that. So this is another shower room. Again, they have dividers. And the uh, university shower heads, so they wouldn't get embarrassed. Also, I don't know what my boys did, just did. But fine. This is Pia's room. It's very yellow, because she's into yellow. Um, this is supposed to be a yoga mat. I know it's just a towel, but I don't have, um, I think it's spa day, which comes with yoga. I don't have that pack. So she just has a towel sort of as like a yoga mat. Um, and a little bi flag. Yay, nice. And next to it is Jules room. So they are not all the same size or the same shape. Um, but I figured that's just what makes it fun a bit more. It was just, I don't know, I kind of enjoyed cluttering all these different uh, rooms and kind of like seeing how the shape works out and where I can put everything and make it look, you know, unique in their basicness, basically. So she has a little sketch pad on which she can either paint uh, or write. Uh, she also has an easel because she likes to paint and yeah so just a lot of green because she likes green and if we go um yeah there, there's only three bedrooms on this floor but if we go upstairs we have a sort of attic so the attic is just cluttered with a lot of stuff people left here over the years you know old posters of things which aren't in anymore um no, a broken jukebox maybe it probably works but it's for the purpose of you know imagination it's broken they have a ping pong table which works so that's fun they also have a treadmill I just wanted them to have a treadmill because it's so much easier to have them work out here if they need to work out or want to work out so that's why they have a treadmill in the attic and they also have a chess table and a little like outside space here um, at the back of the house and they have a bee box because I wanted them to have a bee box. And they also have, you know, a place to sit and just a couple of flowers at the front um, and 
glass dome. So yeah. This is the house I've built for them. And I'm quite excited to start this let's play. So, I'm sorry, I still mess up the weird tab mode, cameraman mode. My friend gave me tips on it, but I just can't figure it out. <laughs> so we'll just leave it like that. And thank you for watching. Stay safe, make good choices, and goodbye.